This is my current aquaponic setup. There's a little solar panel powered aerator. And there are red claw in here. And there's uh, more females than males. About, well, uh, it's just a few extra females. Gonna be adding more plants soon. At the moment, I have a, a layered filtration system that goes through mesh and volcanic rock. And I've just got this greenhouse meshing to kind of block some of the UV. And here I've got some more red claw, some fish as well. And this is my sump tank at the minute. So it all flows in for each other. It's about, I would say, around a thousand, one to eleven hundred liters in the system at the moment. And I also have uh, this pond, um, some plant life that's you know, just uh, expanding quite rapidly. And I've got another uh, layer system uh, filter that I, uh, I wash both of these out uh, several times, like a month, like bi-weekly. So in here I've got some Macrobrachium la. Yeah. These are freshwater shrimp, freshwater prawns. They get to a decent size. Oh yeah, you can see one in there. Yeah, this pond's been going for a few months now, and it's been doing good. Started with uh, five dollars worth of uh, this uh, your floating uh, weed kind of thing, and it uh, spread rapidly. I've got some good algae eaters in the form of the, the shrimp, just some uh, small creek fish as well, and um, yeah, even smaller uh, ghost shrimp. Yeah, this is Macrobrachium law. These are my Cherix depressus and Cherix canzensis cralings. They are very cool. They are only about like like a month old. Gave them some pellets. And go crazy for it. There's about, I think there's 28 of them in here. Look at this tiny little bit.
Yeah, they're looking very nice. The ones in this tank, um, they're a little bit hard to see because they were born a few days ago. Uh, I think they were born like last weekend. So let me focus. These are red claw cranelings. The first generation that I've bred so far. Um, I've taken out the, the mother. There we go. A few of them there. Yeah. They're only a few days old, so they're, they're only a few millimeters in size. There's, there's gotta be like just anywhere between 50 and 100 in here. These are my uh, freshwater tanks. I've got them in my storeroom. And I've got red claw and freshwater shrimp in this big tank here. This is my big uh, breeding male. I've got him in with two other females. And he's going alright. I've got some macrobrachian freshwater prawns. Of some variety. I'm not too sure the exact species. They aren't um, macrobrachian la like the uh, uh, the ones in the pond and my uh, four foot tank. But I don't I don't think they get anywhere near as large. These ones were acquired in a Peter Force Dan. And that that guy at the back there, that would probably be my biggest specimen of uh, this species. And then in this smaller tank here, I've got the bigger of the Cherex depressus and uh, Cherex canzensis. So all of them are in throughout here. I gave them some food earlier. Some of them are really blue, I've noticed, but but uh, only a small percentage of them. Most of them are kind of like a brownish, kind of like dark color. There's uh, some purple hues as well. They've already got their uh, orange tips, nippers. Yeah, they've been doing good. Yeah, they're the same age, they're about a few months old. This tank's maintained pretty aerial. You can see through into the other tank. You can see through into the other tank, and there's a prawn there. I think at the back, there's another red claw in that tube I've got. I've uh, 3D printed this honeycomb shape. It's a substrate, and I've uh, partially like covered it in rocks and stuff. But they've also like made their own little burrows behind the entrance, and they've got like all sorts of caves and stuff in there. And then a lot of them have got like an escape tunnel. They've like made entrances behind there. It's very cool to see them uh, change their uh, landscape. Here's a very nice blue one. Kind of blue, yeah. 